everyone. I'm back. Um, I don't know if you saw my live just about 15 or 20 minutes ago. I am getting ready to paint some wine glasses. Some 18 to be exact. Anyway, sorry, I keep moving you guys around too much. Um, anyway, so I'm using folk art, which is, I use um, all different kinds of paint. I use deco art, a little bit of apple barrel, um, um, what else? Oh, I use Waverly chalk paint, but I use the, uh, I have folk art enameled. I could use folk art multi-surface because they work on glass as well, but I have enameled, so I'll go use enameled because they go good on the glasses. Anyway, um, how's everybody doing today? I'm going to just adjust you. Don't get dizzy. This is a little too in my face, I think. That's better. Okay. Anyway. Um, I'm just putting out my paint. So how's everyone doing today? I have a lot to paint, but I don't know that I'm going to bore you with um, 18 glasses. But I'll paint a few and we can hang out. I did some other signs this morning. These, they have to be framed. But can I just tell you? It's backwards, but it says it's fine. These are um, my second biggest seller on Etsy. Don't ask me why. Um, well, it was kind of clever. I did come up with it. But um, yeah, I sell like four and six of those at a time. So this morning I did two, four, six more. Um, I have a couple for an order. And then I wanted to just have them. I'm reaching for my brushes. Have them in stock. So if they get requested again, they're ready to go out. They'll get framed this week, um, probably tomorrow actually, and then they'll be ready to go. See my truck and tray? Truck and tree is going to be live. Let me get it for you. Uh, not live, sorry. Um, paint night for my truck and tree on November 19th. It's that Tuesday, I think it's the 19th. We'll be painting this, so pretty decent size. So it could be a shelf sitter, the decoration, decorate under your tree, um, hang it on your mantle, drill a couple of holes and hang it on your door, put it on the wall, whatever. So I thought those were pretty cool. And I put, obviously I put Center Bridges, New York, cause that's where we live. But in the, for paint night, you can put whatever you want, your last name, happy holidays, um, make up some kind of farm, whatever it is that you want, make it your own. So, and then this one, this little cute happy snowman, this one is Tuesday, um, the 5th, right? Yeah, the 5th. So it's painter's choice. You can paint this little happy snowman. It's a 12 by 12 canvas. Or, I'm still holding my brushes, um, a set of ornaments, one of each. There's the angel, truck and tree. You can't, it's got the window cut out, but against my red shirt, you can't see it. And the snowman. Anyway, back to paint. So let me get my brushes that I need. So I'm going to use a liner brush. And probably this little number 10. Yeah, number 10 flat for my leaves. Do I have an eight also? An eight also um, for my leaves and my vines. Oh, sorry, that was loud. Anyway, so time to get painting. Now these will have to, I usually let them cure for 24 hours and then I bake them. There's instructions when you use the enamel paint or you can go on the uh, Plaid Crafts website. There's instructions on here on how to bake glass when you paint glass. And then it's pretty much, um, Dishwasher safe. However, I still go with handmade, hand wash. That seems to be um, how we do it. Anyway, so here's all my glasses. And I'm going to get painting. If you have any questions, I will try and answer. I am looking uh, on, well, I guess that doesn't work. Because when I'm live, it's not posted yet. Oh, so anyway, if you have any questions, you can post them and I will come back and respond to them later. Can you see?
right now I'm just I have the mixed up the two greens and I'm just going to paint the vine band all around the glasses. I'm using sap green and fresh foliage. It's good to have two different colors, a light and a dark. You need light to see dark, you need dark to see light. Just drop my paint. And it goes pretty quick when you're doing more than one. Plus, um, most of these are for one order. When I paint them all at the same time, they have more of a chance of looking more alike. I think I'm going to add to this one a little bit. Do you guys see? I'm going to go back and add leaves and yeah, let's do this. So I can make more room. I'm going to go back and add leaves and rosebuds. So, while we were away, we had a flood in our basement. Thank goodness daughter number one was home. And I forget why she went even down the basement because we don't, our basement's not finished, so we don't really use it. But, uh, she went down for something, heard water running, and immediately contacted us about what to do. So I FaceTimed with her from the ship, because we were in Canada. There's nothing I can do about it at that point. And uh, thank goodness, perfect husband for me was able to contact his good friend, Billy. And right the next morning, Billy showed up at our house. We told them how to get in um, and fix the problem. So my daughter was able to have water and she did a great job cleaning up. Uh, we had some boxes of stored stuff down there. So when we got back from the cruise on Thursday, I ran to Home Depot and I bought rubber bins. And uh, this morning, Daughter number one and I got up and uh, threw out the boxes and packed all that stuff up in the plastic bins. So if there's ever a problem again, which I hope not, but if there's ever a problem again, anything that's on the floor is in a plastic bin. Why do these things always happen when you're away? One year, about six years ago, I guess. Oh, actually it was six years ago because we had gone to Maryland. My niece had just had a baby. You've seen you've seen her picture because I'm always showing pictures of the twins and my niece, niece's kids down in Maryland. Um, so we went down when my great niece Jillian was born. And when we came back that Sunday night, walked in the house and a pipe had broken in the upstairs bathroom and leaked and ran for probably all three days that we were gone. 
into my dining room, trashed my dining room, ceiling fell down, water went from the second floor through the dining room into the basement. What a mess. Imagine coming home from a weekend away on a Sunday night at seven and walking into that. That was an insurance claim. I had to call the insurance company to take care of that one. It was a mess. We, we cleaned up as much as we could, um, but I needed it. The whole wood floor had to be replaced. Sheet rock had to be replaced. It was a mess. So I forget the company I dealt with, um, not the insurance company, but the restoration company. They were wonderful. They were local. I would look them up if I ever needed them again. It wasn't a chain. It wasn't Surf Pro. It was a private health company. Well, Surf Pros are franchises, um, but it wasn't wasn't a Surf Pro or anything like that. It was an independent company, but they were great. And it got done, and I think it was all done. So this was October. I'm pretty sure it was all done before. Um, I don't like that. Before that's the beauty of painting on glass. You don't like something, you just wipe it off. I think it was all done before. Um, Thanksgiving that year, too. So that was good. Am I even painting on camera? I don't even know because I'm so busy yakking away. You probably want to see some flowers and leaves too, right? I'm going to do this group and then move them out of the way. And then uh, I'll show you. I will say, as much fun as we had on the cruise, the food, not good. I did not eat well. Well, not well in that I ate way too much bread because the food wasn't very good. So I was hungry. When did you ever hear about somebody going on a cruise and not being stuffed? I don't know. I guess some people liked the food. I didn't like the food. It was okay. It just wasn't awesome like I expected it to be. Kind of wasn't worth the calories. Can you guys believe it's November already? I have paint parties booked all through December. Um, so if you're interested, check out my events on my homepage, on my Facebook page. And uh, if you're local and you're interested in a paint party I'll be doing ornaments. Um, I showed you the truck and tray. Wine glasses, if you want them uh, for a gift, or even wine glasses. I mean, this is not done, but I've we can do wine glasses and we'll do them in this um, position and they make beautiful candle holders for a table setting. What else are we doing? We're doing, um, I think I'm doing a Santa. I can't remember everything I'm doing. I have a schedule. And then I don't know if you saw my village that I did for the fall. So my little village, it's over there somewhere. Not the fall one, but I'm going to redo a village with um, winter and Christmas decorations. Snow, trees, and light.
and I can go in and add some flowers and do my roses. So if you're just joining me and you have any questions, um, say hi, ask your questions in the comments and I will answer them when the live is over. Because I can't really, I can't see the comments on my phone when I'm going live. Plus, you know, I can hardly talk and paint at the same time. Although I seem to be doing a pretty good job of it, don't I? So, if you have any questions about anything, just let me know. Put it in the comments. And uh, I will respond later when I'm done. Perfect husband for me went food shopping this morning and now he's making um, chicken tortilla soup. Yum. We're really big on soup in this house in the winter. Well, either him or I will make soup every weekend to have in the refrigerator. It's nice to bring soup for lunch or um, when he works nights, just come home and heat up a nice bowl of soup for dinner. So now I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna add some leaves. Some of the leaves you want under the rosebuds and some of the leaves you want over the rosebuds. So I go in and add some leaves now, then I'll go in and add my rosebuds and then I will um, do more leaves. I have to turn the glass upside down to make my leaves go the other way. See? You know, with one stroke, you always double load your brush. I have both dark green and light green on my brush. Back to upside down. Plus you wanna keep your my hands are clean, but you know there's always oil in our fingertips. That's how we make um, fingerprints. So when you're committing a crime, you have to always know that you're gonna leave fingerprints behind. It doesn't matter how clean your hands are. Your hands are gonna secrete oil, and that's gonna leave a fingerprint. I got that from uh, my true crime stories that I like to watch. But anyway, so before I started these glasses, I cleaned them with alcohol. But then I try to still keep my fingerprints off um, and my fingers off while I paint because you don't want to make it hard for the paint to adhere and pretty much, you know, stick. Remove these to wait a little bit. Oh, gotta fix that. I don't know if I told you they're on baking sheets. Can you see that they're on baking sheets? Because once I'm done, I let them sit for almost about 24 hours. Maybe not so much, maybe not exactly 24 hours, but I'll let the paint cure for at least, you know, maybe 20, 24 hours. And then tomorrow, I will bake these in the oven according to the directions um, 
from Plaid Crafts. And this way, the paint sets. And they are somewhat dishwasher safe. However, like I said before, handmade, hand wash. I have hand painted wine glasses that I painted that I put in the dishwasher. And they're fine. However, um, if they start to get ratty or the paint comes off, I can just repaint them. So far that hasn't happened and I've probably had them go through the wash about six times. Just I was testing them um, and they were fine. But you never know. And so when people purchase them on Etsy, I say handmade hand wash. You guys believe it's November already? I can't. Another good thing about painting on glass is if you paint something you really don't like, just take a paper towel and wipe it off. Occasionally I'll use my finger, but like I said, you don't want to get your greasy, grubby fingers on the glass you already cleaned with alcohol. You do have to constantly, when you're painting with glass though, you have to constantly keep it up. Um, enamel paint doesn't dry as quickly as acrylic paint, so you have to be careful. Otherwise it will smear, 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 smear all over. Almost done with the leaves. Okay. Wait, did I do that? Oh, two more. Two more for leaves. Then I'll show you some rosebuds. If you're watching the replay, obviously you can speed up, fast forward, and see the rosebuds if you want. I will also go in when these dry a little bit and add um, stems to my leaves. When I'm painting with acrylic paint, with the multi-surface acrylic paint, I do the leaves and then the stems right after them. But when I paint with um, enamels on glass, 
I wait for the paint to dry. Otherwise it just kind of blends in. <clears throat> and if you've noticed too, when I don't, when, uh, when I don't, when I paint on wine glasses or anything like this, I don't paint up here in the lip line. When it, especially when the design goes all around, you know, not like you're going to be eating paint, but still, it's not the best and it doesn't come off, but still nobody wants to be touching paint with their lips. So I leave the upper portion of the glass or the coffee cup, or the wine glass, whatever it is I'm painting, I leave that paint fray up top. Okay, wash my brush. And get out my magenta and white. Put this one in here now because I'm not using it just yet. So, how's it going? Take my glasses off to paint. I use my glasses for distance, so when I'm painting, um, I don't need my glasses on. Plus, they glare on the uh, Facebook Live. Just the paint? Yeah. It's a pretty sunny day out. It's still only like, probably like 55 degrees, but it's very sunny out. It's a nice day. I love this folk art paint. It's so creamy. I want to make sure my brush is really, really dry. You don't use water when you paint with enamels. Okay. So you see, here's my green. Now I have two little puddles. And I'm going to double load my brush. Pink, well it's magenta, and white. Like get your brush nice and loaded up with paint. Okay, I always want some nice fresh white. I'm gonna go in and do my rose buds. Can you see? Here. Let me put you down again. There we go. A lot of the times with these little brushes, you have to always pick up fresh paint. When I have been using a big brush and painting on something a lot bigger, um, the big brushes, obviously they're big brushes, they hold a lot more paint. So, there you go. I forget what they're called, but um, maybe somebody out there knows on the bottom of the rosebuds they have little um, the green leaf part that kind of like holds it into onto the stem so that'll be the next step so obviously I will wait for my rosebuds to dry a little bit and then I will go back in and add those I'll probably add those little things at the same time as I add um, the stems to my leaves.
leaves. Sometimes I like to put um, two buds together, a little grouping. Other times I just add a little one. Just say, eye it up, see where I need one. to the next then I'll come back and finish that one up for you guys need some fresh white on there do you want to see the magenta and the white you don't want to see pink well you see a little bit of pink but you really so you really want all the shades Shades of the magenta, a nice fresh white, and a couple of shades of pink in the middle. There we go. I might add some, but I'll have to look at it a little bit. Right now I'm gonna go in to get my liner brush again that I had before. And show you. Get as much as the water out as possible. I'm gonna go back to the rosebuds. And just add, I forget what they're called. See? Kind of like hope, hoping it in, holding it in there. And I'll go in and add my uh, little stems to my leaves. Give them a little dimension. Oops. Have my rosebuds over here. Kind of cup them in there. You know it's going to be bothering me what these things are called. Got all my nope leaf stems in. So there we go. I will go back and add a few more leaves probably, but um, that's basically it. So thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.